Hey guys, and welcome back to another Captain Eggnog with me, only Eggnog, and <laughs> it's been a long time. And what I mean by that is it's been a long time since we last recorded an excellent world video. And trust me, there are good reasons for that. If you guys are wondering, the title is not clickbait. I actually did delete my excellent world. It was it was really devastating. And, uh, you know, to make a long story short, basically, I was trying to move my world file from my Kindle to my iPhone. And through all the disappointment and stress, I accidentally deleted my excellent world. I didn't know if I was ever, ever going to play it again. But then I found out that not long before I tried moving everything, I actually uh, made a copy of my excellent world. But it wasn't creative as I was trying to find the coordinates or something because I was lost. And I didn't really want my game to be in creative as I like to get achievements and challenge myself with that and everything. And I wanted it to be like a legit survival. But later I came to the conclusion that I really want to play in my excellent world. And, you know, I don't even care if it used to be in creative and now I can't get achievements. I just want to play in it. And that's what I did. And I was actually able to successfully move it to my iPhone, which is why the gameplay is so smooth right now. And today... I have a few things to show you guys as well. Between the last Excellent World video and um, me deleting the Excellent World, I actually built a few things that I want to show you guys. Um, it's only two things that I don't know why I'm in here. It's actually down this way, but it's only two things. They're not like the best things, but they took a long time and I don't know. I'm just proud of both of them. And if you guys think this is all I'm going to be doing in this video, do not worry. I'm also planning to build a guardian farm as I want to I want to make a big project for myself I'm not quite sure what that's gonna be yet I was thinking about it and all the blocks you could find in an ocean monument actually look pretty nice So I, I want a guardian farm, but first I'm gonna show you the two things that I have for you guys and <laughs> That's gonna be a long, long journey there. See you guys in a second. Now, we're on the home stretch. And just down there, you can see the portal. And finally, we're here. And here we are. You guys could probably tell what this is supposed to be. Just seen from the pillar drop post and this entire thing. But I built a raid farm. And it works, it works really well. I get lots of items from it. I'm not gonna run it right now. But basically, all the way down there... There's a trident killer that'll kill um, the pillagers that spawn. And if it kills one with a banner, I get the effect. There's a villager right there, which triggers the raid. Everyone in the raid spawns there. They fall down into here. I kill them. I get loot from them. And all the loot gets into here. As you guys can see, this is a lot of loot gets here. <laughs> like, I barely use this. So this is one thing I built. The next thing I built is just down this way. And man, this took a really long time. So as you guys can see here, I dug out an entire chunk, which is actually much, much harder ever since the 1.17 update. Captain did help me a little with this. He joined my world and helped me, um, but it still took a really long time. And I, I just thought it'd be cool to add just a nice accomplishment. All these shulker boxes are just full of all the blocks we got from this. Um, and actually most of the blocks despawn, so there's, there's not even all of it. There's tons more And yeah, you guys could just see how much we had to mine, but if I'm correct if I go in this corner fall down here We put a uh, little slime platform just to get down easily without dying and here you guys can see all the way down to bedrock And I just think it's super super cool looking all the way up. You can see all the ores we left all the uh, caves, there's a pretty big cave over here. It was a really time-consuming build, but I'm so glad I did it. I want to eventually add something in this little hole. I'm not quite sure what I want to add yet, but I will add something, and I want it to look good. Now, to get out of here. Now, time to gather resources for the Guardian Farm. I'm not just building any old plain Guardian Farm. I'm building my guardian farm if you guys don't know i actually designed my own guardian farm and made a tutorial video on it you guys could go check it out yourselves if you want it is on this channel and it works really really well <laughs> oh snap what how they get me so low before we begin let's get some rest and now we could start gathering the resources and now that i have all the resources and an ocean explorer map so i actually know which way to go we could head on our way Ooh, and i came across a pillager outpost now let's get to the top and see what they have in store for me they don't have anything good in it so let's just throw away all the junk we don't need and there it is the ocean monument i wonder if i've explored this one before oh definitely haven't 
That's a bit of an issue. Let's get my chest plate on. This is one guardian, <laughs> and he's down. I've decided it's probably be good to go home for some water breathing. Be right back. Oh, I found a village on the way, but it seems like I've already been here. Well, we could always just get some rest. And now we could continue on our journey back home. And I definitely won't mind grabbing all this coal. And here we are at home sweet home. Here we go, here's some water breathing. But I think it'd be good to grab some more bottles. And now we could brew some more. And then I think six more should be quite enough. Let's just grab the ender chest. Put away some redstone and head back on our way now we're back in no time here's the gold room I might as well grab some gold you know what i've concluded that it's probably best to save that for after i've gotten rid of all the elder guardians so let's keep searching should we be one down this way somewhere and here it is and that's easily taken care of and i believe there should be one more somewhere and here he is and he was again taken out with no problem now i want to find a sponge room just because for the last few monuments i've explored i haven't found one and it'd just be nice to have one. Oh, and just as i said that Unfortunately, I did forget to bring my hoe, which will be quite a problem. Just have to wait for this mining fatigue to go away. Well, now that the mining fatigue has run out, I can gather all the sponge. Now it's time to get out of here and finish gathering all the gold. How convenient, another sponge room. And this time, I don't have to wait to gather all of it. And here we are. Whoa, look at this monument. Look how long that light- What is this? Wait, what? That's so weird. I've never seen one like this. It looks like a wandering trader has decided to join me. How nice. But he doesn't really train or anything good. So guardians, have at it. That's all that's going to get done for this day. So let's just get some rest for the next. I can even get into the bed. A new day has arrived, so we're going to go back to building. And finally, with all these pillars, no more guardians should be spawning to mess me up. Now to just spawn proof all these blocks. And we seem to have a problem. Guardians are spawning. This should not be happening. And... Uh, I have seem to have found the issue, and that should solve the problem. If I'm gonna be honest, I was a little worried that I'd completely messed up there. I'm gonna have to redo this entire thing. I was beginning to hear more guardians, and as I was exploring the monument to see if I had missed any other spots, I found another sponge room, which I guess is pretty handy. And as you guys can see, it's already working. And this should be the spawning and the killing chamber all completed. Now all that's left to do is build the collection system, which is all done right there, and the AFK platform. And finally, we set the bed down and get some rest. I seem to be a little stuck there. If we come down here, the farm should be working. And just look at how many guardians are coming in. With this, I can mend up all my armor, as well as my tools. And over here, you can see how many drops it gives you. But anyway, guys, that would end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did, especially just coming back into my excellent world and building this farm. It actually took forever, but I mean, pretty much just spawn proofing everything took forever. If you guys want to go check this farm out for yourselves, make it yourselves, uh, watch the video. It's a tutorial video on it. It's pretty good. It works really well. I hope to see you guys in the next video.